Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get a Power Group TV application to your Fire Stick. That's a quite popular IP3 player, but a lot of people have trouble when trying to install it. So I'll show you the easy way to install it to your device. First of all, you have to get an app called Unloader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, we just need to go to search on your device and here in that search bar, start typing Downloader. As you can see, there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app because the loader already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on the loader and that's the app which we need to get to our device. However, after we get the loader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. So to set up the loader, we'll go to settings. Let's do it. Click on that button with the gear icon. Then we need to scroll down and click on My Fire TV. When it opens, we have to enable developer options on your device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, do not worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for seven times, and do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see, now the bottom for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. In your case it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which just appeared right here. So we open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then we need to go to install unknown apps, open it, from here you have to locate the loader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device. There it is, open it. And here you'll find the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. However, before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I really recommend doing is of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast, we got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say we'll connect to France right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on your screen right now with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and so it's going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So we go back to the home screen, from here open up the loader. Here on the left side menu, it's really important that you have to click on home. So once again, you have to click on home and not on browser. And here in that search bar, we need to enter a code, which is going to be 299336. So once again, the whole code is 299336. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see on the screen and do not make any mistakes. Because obviously, if you make a mistake, the code is not going to work properly. Then we have to click on Go. And in a couple of moments, the download of application is going to start for us. Usually, it doesn't take long, but of course, it all depends on your connection speed. In my case, as you can see, it's happening quite fast. Then you have to click on Install and wait until Apollo TV gets installed to the Fire Stick. And then don't click on open yet, instead press on done, because here we have an option to delete the installation file, as we don't really need it anymore on our device. So click on delete and then delete once again. This way we are erasing unnecessary files from the Fire Stick. Then finally let's go to the list of apps on your device. 
There it is, open it. Scroll down and here you'll find Apollo TV Group, which we just installed to your Fire TV. Now I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. You click on it and then press on Move to Front. This way Apollo Group TV is always going to be at the very top of your application list and it's going to be really easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep your VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. Once again, you can use the link below the video or just go to topvpnoffer.com to get 3 months of service totally for free. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.